Today we are making smoky glazed asparagus. That's one of my favorite vegetables. So much that they always call me an asparagi. All right, the jokes oh. are over now. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank goodness. You're, it's up to you now. Let's get down to business. We are going to make a wonderful asparagus recipe today that you can cook either on the grill outdoors or you can roast it in the oven either mm. way. It's great. Either way, it comes out wonderful. I've never seen this recipe on YouTube before. So we're going to show you guys a new way of cooking asparagus mm -hmm. today. And it is so, so good. Amazing. And today we are going to make it in the oven because we couldn't do the grill. It's kind of nasty outside. Welcome back to our channel, Living the Alleyway. I'm Elizabeth. I'm Michael. Stick with us for a few minutes and we are gonna get started on this incredible asparagus. First thing you need to do with your asparagus is line them all up on your cutting board. And Michael's gonna cut just about one inch off the end because that is the woody end on the asparagus and it doesn't taste good, it's not very edible. So you're gonna to wanna to get rid of that. Then he's going to take a peeler and just peel off just the very end of each as uh, stalk of asparagus just to make sure that end is nice and tender. If you do this with rice, is it rice peel off? Okay, never mind. That's going on the cutting room floor. <laughs> Today we're going to be using the zest of a lemon and also the juice of a lemon. And if you haven't zested a lemon before, all it is is you're taking the outer layer off of the lemon. You're gonna to want to use a microplane grater. If you don't have one of these yet, you wanna pick one up because these you use it so many times in your kitchen. I will drop a link in the description below. But to zest the lemon, you're gonna have the little, the grates on this side. And all you're gonna do is take your lemon and just go from bottom to top and it's gonna get that outer layer off. You don't wanna to go too deep because it's gonna, you'll have the pith and that's sour but you just want to uh, zest the outside of the lemon all the way around and then we're going to add the zest into the rest of the ingredients. Now we're going to add all of the ingredients to a 9 by 13 glass pan and then I'm going to mix everything well and put the asparagus in it. So the first thing that's going to go in here is a half a cup of mayonnaise. We are using vegan mayonnaise, follow your heart vegan mayonnaise because we stay plant-based but if you're not plant-based or vegan use whatever kind of mayonnaise you have, it doesn't matter. We're going to go in, I'm just going to scoop this into my 9 by 13 get it all in there and if you guys haven't tried a vegan mayonnaise it's really good tastes just like the real deal but much better for your heart health and for our environment all right the next thing we're going to go in with is the juice of one full lemon I'm just going to go in that and remember the zest that we did earlier we're going to go in with all of the zest from that lemon it's, you can see it's just little flaky pieces off the, the rind, but it's called zest. Next thing we're gonna go in with is two tablespoons of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of cumin, teaspoon of onion powder, teaspoon of garlic powder, teaspoon of black pepper, and two teaspoons of salt. We're gonna go all in with those. And then guys, we are gonna put in, because we're gonna cook this in the oven, we're gonna roast these in the oven, we're not gonna put them on the grill today, so we want to get a little bit of that smoky flavor. So we've got the, the smoked paprika, but we're also going to add, and when I say a literal two drops, seriously, you only want to put, like you can see I only have a little bit in there. I'm going to drop it in here. If you add too much of this, it will ruin the flavor of your dish, but just that little bit will make it taste incredibly good. I'm going to get this off of here, take the rest of this mayonnaise off of here, so we don't want to waste. And then I'm just going to take my whisk, Get this all whisked up really well, and then we're gonna put the asparagus in here and let it sit for a few minutes. That looks like whiskey business. It is whiskey business. Oh my goodness, you just aged yourself. <laughs> Go Tom Cruise. It's almost a Mission Impossible. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I couldn't resist. I thought you would come out with that one. Honey, you and the dumb jokes. I know, I've been, li I've been living with you for, or married to you for 29 years next month so yeah what do you expect but dumb jokes all right that looks good let me grab the asparagus and we'll be right back i forgot to tell you guys i'm really sorry about this i forgot to say i also added a quarter cup of uh, extra virgin olive oil to this so you want to make sure and go back and do that if you haven't done that yet it's in the recipe below but i just wanted to make sure you guys knew that i put that in there so next thing we're going to do is go in with our asparagus we're going to put it in here I'm gonna put it all in. Again, it's about a pound. I know it's two, we got two uh, large bunches of large 
asparagus because if you get this big skinny asparagus it's going to cook down to nothing so you want to do your best to find the, the biggest asparagus that you can find they also have white asparagus don't they have like blue purple. asparagus purple asparagus yeah kind of creeps me out a little bit i'm not really <laughs> no they're, they're pretty though yeah but, uh, i don't know about that white asparagus but you know whatever each their own we're just going to coat these really well all right we've got everything coated really well everything looks great oh my goodness that is beautiful. I wish you could smell this in here. It's amazing. It smells so good. It smells, smells smoky. It smells a little bit smoky, a little bit spicy, but you see it's coated really well. What we're going to do now is just let this sit for about 30 minutes, let it marinate, and we'll be right back and put it in the oven. Our asparagus has marinated for about 30 minutes, so we're going to get ready to put it on our parchment lined cookie sheet. If you don't have parchment paper, just use foil, whatever you have. You could also use a sill pat. But if you use foil, make sure you spray it really well so the asparagus doesn't stick. It will not stick to the parchment paper. I'm just gonna take these, um, probably one at a time here. Let's get them all laid out nice and single layer. We may have to do two sheets of this, I'm not sure. But you don't wanna crowd them. If you crowd them, they're not gonna roast evenly. They may steam in the oven and you don't want steamed asparagus, you want roasted asparagus. This tray is pretty full, so I just pulled out another cookie sheet and popped another piece of the parchment paper on there. I don't want to get these too crowded and we had a lot of these so I'm just going to go ahead and use another um, sheet and we'll do the rest of these on here. We have everything laid out on the two cookie sheets. I do have a little bit more of this flavor still in here so I'm just going to dab a little of this on the ends of them just to make sure we use all of this wonderful seasoning that we have here. Do the same thing to the other sheet. I have preheated my oven to 425. I have a convection oven, so I'm going to do convection roast. But if you don't have a convection oven, you may want to do it between 425 and 450. We're going to cook these about 25 minutes. We want to get them nice and blistered and a little bit golden brown. They want to be tender. You may want to check your oven. It may have varying temperatures, but we're pretty used to ours. So we're going to go in both trays. I'm going to put one on the bottom. And I'm going to put one on the top. And we're going to roast these off again in the oven for about 20, 25, maybe 30 minutes. Just depends on how quickly they cook. You'll want to keep an eye on them. Check them after about 20 minutes. See how they're looking. You may want to turn them over, but we'll be right back. These have been cooking for about 20 minutes. We're going to take them out and see how they look. Watch that oven. It's hot. Oh, that is so, listen, it's so beautiful. Listen to that sizzle. Oh, those are perfect. All right, I'm going to take that one out and put it over here. I'll take that one out and put it over here. Those look wonderful. I was going to tell you guys, ours cooked in about 20 minutes because we did it on 425 on convection roast. Check your oven. You may want to check it after 20 minutes, whatever you're cooking it on, just to make sure it doesn't go too far. You may have to go another five or 10 minutes. Just it's according to however your oven operates. This is how ours did. So we're going to plate these up and give them a taste test. We'll be right back. Oh my gosh, this looks so, and smells amazing. This is incredible. I wish you guys could smell this. Not yes, fresh the out dog of the oven. has been wanting some really bad. Sadie's been whining. She can smell it. You guys can see that how beautiful. Look how that glistens out of the oven. It's so beautiful. Oh, I know we need to get this tasting going. I'm gonna try it. Yes. Let me try it with a fork. Oh, which one? I don't know which one to have. Oh. You are very, very doing this re really nicely. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab it. Now tell me how that tastes. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Sorry, excuse mm -hmm. me. Mm. It is so, first of all, it's so tender. And I licked my finger, sorry. Oh my gosh. It's so good. It's tender. It's got just a little bit of smokiness to it. You can taste the mayonnaise. You can just taste the oil. You can, uh. The lemon is coming through. Mm. But it's that little bit of that smoked paprika and that tiny bit mm. of uh, liquid smoke just comes through. It just permeates and it just lifts the flavor. And this, you guys, this is so good. You've got to try this. this. Asparagus is actually sweet. It's amazing. It tastes very sweet, yes. Mm. Oh my goodness. Well, I know it's for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. 
you guys, thank you for hanging out with mm -hmm. us. You really need to try this. I can't even begin to describe how good this is. Oh, yes. I, just how tender it is. This is just good by itself. I it mean, is good This by could itself. be a whole meal by itself. You know, this may be a side of rice or potatoes and a, oh, some tomato, yeah. maybe some grilled tomato. Mm. That would be such a good dinner. Mm. That sounds good for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait. We've got to finish this. I know, one. I know. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. We have enjoyed the heck out of seeing mm -hmm. you guys and doing this for you and showing you how good asparagus really can be. And this is different. I haven't seen this recipe before, no. so this is something that's going to be great to add to your arsenal. Mm -hmm. Kids are going to love this. Guarantee. You put this in front of them, they're going to eat it. I know my daughter is going to put this for our grandsons and they're going to eat the whole thing. So. That's right, April. <laughs> Anyway, again, thank you guys for hanging out with us. Um, if you like this video today, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't yet joined our YouTube channel, please do so. We'd love for you to become part of our YouTube family. And make sure and hit that notification bell so you know every time we come out with a new video. Ding. <laughs> Here we go again. We hope everybody's staying safe and doing well. We love each and every one of you, and we appreciate each and every one we of you. We do, yes. We will see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. That's probably the best asparagus I've ever had. Up top, sir. Nope. Mm. Mm. Welcome back to our <laughs> channel. Sadie. <laughs> she wants to say welcome back. I just want to let you know that today we are making one of my favorites. It is smoky eyes. I love it because it can go up here and it's dark and you do it for a good night. Smoky what asparagus? We're making asparagus. What kind? Smoky glazed asparagus. Glazed.